Do you ever get nostalgic feelings and you just got to put them down just because they're just so intense? So intense. That's what happened to me last night. I had some very intense Monica feels for the first time in many years. I had to slap that down. So there it is. Or rather, here it, in the process. Whatever. Hey guys, it's Cornflower. Uh, today's video I actually pre-recorded last week and it was going to be about you know, a couple tips for young artists that I wish I would have been told uh, when I was a young artist. I made that video way too long. I recorded it twice and both times it was really, really long. So I'm basically going to sum it up and do this. The first thing I wish I would have been told was it's okay to take inspiration from other artists. Don't trace their work and call it your own. Don't copy the way that they do things exactly and call that your own style. Just take inspiration from people. So the example that I used was I like the style of the way that Leslie Lou Marie draws eyes. It's also similar to the way that the eyes are drawn in Little Witch Academia. And so I took inspiration from that and that's how I draw eyes. Now, the way that I do it is different. You know, the shapes that I use, the colors I use um, is different. Really, the only similarity is that I put white in the middle of the eye where the pupil should be and then everything else is my own. So, you know, something like that, you know, you can do that with basically any part. You could do that with hair, with the way you draw hands, or even the bodies. You know, just never, never take it directly. I know a lot of artists do like tutorials on how they draw stuff. So watch those videos. Those are really super helpful. I watched a lot of those. A lot of artists, a lot of digital artists too, are very open to being like, this is how I draw stuff. So, you know, if you like that way, try it because I really like it that way and it's easy for me and it might be easy for you too. So yeah, that's, I would encourage you to do that. Yes, when I was younger, I was told that you shouldn't do that because it makes you look unoriginal. And that's not true. I mean, you can really develop your own style from that and it can really make you original if you do stuff like that. If there's a certain part that you can't draw, if you can't draw animals very well or if there's a certain part of the human body you can't draw very well, it's good to do research on not only anatomy like take life drawing and try to do it from there but also just learn from other artists how they do it the second point i only had two points in the last video because it was so long my second point was that i know a lot of people have depression and anxiety i know i that's something that i struggle with personally and so in a lot of those videos where it's like a oh, top 10 things that young artists do wrong uh, you'll hear a lot about like you need to draw every single day otherwise you're not going to get better and you need to draw often you do need to draw often enough where you're going to improve but you don't need to draw every single day I don't draw every single day and I've gotten way better in the last year you know you know I draw very often I draw several times a week but you know there's those times where it's really hard to do anything like beyond art it's hard to do like your household chores because it's just weighs you down it really is heavy on you and so it's hard to do anything I would say on those days don't draw because anything if you're in a if you're you know not feeling so good about anything then and and then you try to draw you're not gonna like it and there's in no capacity are you going to like it now some people are different some people can take that and they can make it into a big beautiful art piece but I know I can't and I know when I was a young artist hearing all these you know more popular artists or you know my teachers and stuff say you have to draw every day otherwise you're not gonna get better it was kind of discouraging because there's days where I just really I really couldn't and I would try, but I just wouldn't like what I did. And then that would make me feel worse because I would be like, well, why am I even doing this? You know, I don't, I'm not any good at it. So don't draw on the days when you're depressed or feeling bad, you know, just wait, wait it out until a better day. Even if it's not a day where you're feeling particularly good, if you're feeling a little bit better, you know, you're already getting some stuff done, go ahead and draw like a little something, a little doodle or something. And always you should always be able to like draw something and look at it and even if it's not something that you particularly are proud of you should be able to look at it and be like what can I improve upon so those are really my only two points for this video I know this topic doesn't really have anything to do with Modica but like I said I got hit with some very hard Modica feels last night so that's what I'm putting up with this video for this week and yeah
Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your subscriptions. I got a several new subscribers last week because my lovely husband put my taco video up on Reddit. And so I was very appreciative of that because I got, it's got a whole bunch of views. It's got, hang on, I'm going to look now. I got 16 subscribers. Oh my gosh, I got six new subscribers out of it. And um, that video has 294 views. That is crazy to me. That is absolutely nutso to me. But yeah, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Um, if you really like my videos, like and favorite, do all that other good stuff that fancy YouTubers do nowadays. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next week. Next week is the beginning of October, and I'm going to be telling you guys some ghost stories. Ooh. They're not really scary, but it's just some silly stuff that I want to share with you guys. Okay, so I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Have a good week.